In Australia, there are a number of climate scientists, many of whom are in the IPCC, who have been great advocates of the climate science. But the problem that we've encountered is that they have become almost seen by our government as a lobby group. So their, their views are now taken into account as just one of many alongside the coal lobby. They've become almost seen as the science lobby, which to me seems ridiculous. So how can scientists become advocates of the climate scientists, science without being just seen as a lobby group? So it's very, very tough in Australia, just as it is in Canada and in the US. Um, but, you know, of course, people will throw whatever they can at them, and they will use any excuse whatsoever to dismiss their views. And in fact, if you listen to some right-wing commentators and columnists, and in fact, some government spokesmen, you'll find that, that if you take everything they say seriously, no one on earth has a valid view unless they agree completely with what they say. And they come up with some reason why they shouldn't be heard. You're a lobby group is one of those reasons. Um, but to suggest that scientists who are, who are supporting their own science are no better than some coal lobby group is completely to misunderstand what those scientists are trying to do. They're trying to explain to the public what the science says against a barrage of obfuscation and denial and, 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 and opacity and seeded doubt put there by the climate change denial industry. <laughs>